I want you to think about a time you got food poisoning or even just a really bad stomach ache. Wasn't very fun, was it? Well, hopefully we have a solution to part of that problem. The yellow bug you see at the top of the screen is salmonella. Salmonella is the second leading cause of foodborne illness in the United States. Typically, salmonella infects humans through the contamination of chicken products, specifically chicken eggs. Salmonella can survive on the very dry environment of chicken egg shells for weeks, even in the refrigerator. To help avoid this, factory farms typically spray a lot of antibiotics on their chicken eggs. However, like other bacteria, salmonella is becoming increasingly antibiotic resistant, which means that our current antibiotic drugs do not work as well as they used to. So, new problems require new solutions. So instead of trying to directly kill salmonella off the chicken eggs, perhaps, there, perhaps, perhaps there's an indirect way we can do so. So, just like you and I, salmonella must talk. They must communicate with each other. They must sense the environment. So we thought, why not develop some form of molecular propaganda? Perhaps there's some chemical out there we can spray on chicken eggs to where we can trick the salmonella into thinking, hey, we're in a nice nutritious environment, when reality is much harsher and they are not prepared. So, the solution to this problem, many of you probably used as treatment for acne at some point. Um, in a previous study, my boss, Dr. Eric Peterson, um, identified salicylic acid as a potential disruptor of these uh, uh, conversations between salmonella about the dry environment. So we wanted to test this. So we exposed salmonella to different concentrations of salicylic acid and allowed salmonella to dry out overnight in plastic wells, as you see in the top right. So the next day we came in, we put in growth media in each of these wells, and we put the entire well plate into a machine so the machine could construct growth curbs for us. We wanted to do this to basically see if salmonella survived the exposure to salicylic acid. So the growth curves you'll see on the bottom right there. And I want you to pay attention to the color code on the right of the curves. That indicates, you know, a different concentration of salicylic acid that was exposed to the salmonella. So I want you to refer everything to the red line as that is just salmonella without any exposure to salicylic acid. As you can see, as the salicylic acid concentrations get higher, you get more of this rightward shift until bam, there is no growth whatsoever at the two highest concentrations. According to our theory, this indicates that at a certain level of salicylic acid, we have brainwashed enough of the salmonella into thinking, hey, everything's fine, there's nothing to worry about, as they slowly dry out and die. So, instead of worsening our antibiotic resistance problem, Perhaps we can spray our chicken eggs with salicylic acid and prevent those pesky stomach aches. Thank you.